D-Lo, ay, yeah, clutch. I'm in the clutch, we in the clutch, it's even been clutch. You think that we suck, your dreams are the luck, your ship is just sunk, we turn off a way. Ooh, yeah, see that my face is up in disgust because people talk in a mess, but there's nothing to discuss. I'm just being honest, I'm keeping it a bug. Uh huh. We in the clutch! What's going on, clutch? What? What up, what up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Trey Billy. It's your boy Ross. And we're in the clutch. Hey, hey yes, back to you, ladies and gentlemen, another BG, you feel me? Detroit Urban Survival Training. Oh, yeah. Compilation. This guy here, man. This I don't know what to. Dude, I, I, somebody got a gun at you like this, man. What you gotta do is you gotta rotate yeah. their hand in a circle like that. <laughs> Open up a portal. Up. Yeah. Open it exactly. <laughs> oh man. Look this for is, the other Spider Man, you know. This is gonna be a try not to laugh. This is gonna be a good one. We've been seeing these yeah. these clips that don't look like they will work in actual practice. So yeah. we're gonna check this out, man. Yeah, the be memes with people saying that they trying it and then they end up in heaven on Yeah, bro. Like, oh my god. Killing me, bro. bro. Killing me right now. But if y'all enjoying these, run up the like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks. Let's go. Alright, let's do this. Detroit Urban Survival Training. I'm gonna share with you what to do if you're surrounded by a group of men and they attack you. So if they come at you, what you don't want to do is try to stay in the middle, this like in a martial arts karate movie, moving in a circle, trying to block, trying to hit, that's not going to work. So if they try to grab and then try to attack you, and you try to back up, this is what's going to happen. As you try to back up, you're going to get swarmed, and you're still going to be dominated, and you're going to lose. What you should do is this. Ain't no way in hell, bro. <laughs> no way in hell. A bunch of niggas Bro, as you, you can see, when you move in a circle around the crowd, you're able to attack each attacker individually. How is Wait. that work going to So we doing a try not to laugh. Okay. But yeah. if it's a bunch of niggas. That would be the first video I was talking about, bro. Because I'm like, all right, I ain't trying to diss this man. He obviously been yeah. doing this for a while. But this video, no, that's bullshit. That's not worth it. I don't bro. see how the hell you, that You'll be happen. sent to I'm the sorry. gulag real quick. I appreciate that he's trying to put stuff exactly. online. How you think... going to push and tag people? And get... No, bro. I don't. I can't do that. <laughs> shit. God damn it. Oh, Brandon Lawrence. Is that a I think it was. God damn it, man. Oh, yeah, 40. 20 in the pot. Another 20, Shit, bro. 20 bones. Because he started off doing some. I don't like. What the hell? Like, nah. Trying to teach you how to survive, bro. Survival training. I'm going to share with you today some ways that you can increase your survivability. If someone grabs you from the side, bear hugging you, holding you against your will. It's the so you can take your leg, yeah. wrap it around the heel here, bring your knee to the front, and lock it out. Another way you can do that. Mm -hmm. Is on the other leg, the rear, this side. Just simply take your leg to the rear, hook, drop it down, and hook That's out. That's a lot of work. That is, bro. In a, in this can increase your survivability if someone's trying to hold you against your will baby. on your side. What kind of watch you got? Detroit Urban Survival Training. We're going to share with you right now what to do if someone grabs your wrist from the side. Oh, this is something that commonly watch. happens where people are trying to manhandle you. Uh, so they grab here. So we to escape. Machine. First level of response to any threat. And the way we do that is by taking our elbow over the top. Here. The reason why I want to go here is because we don't want to go to zero. I want to, so try I want to go here stuff. and then start over and then find out he's a better fighter than us. I want to see here, if it actually here, works or if social, social media just makes fun of him. To control or immobilize the threat if necessary. Legally, I just want to escape if they just grab my wrist. Here. If I want to control. So from here, yeah, they grab you. One, grab one how did you two, do it? three. It's Life. very painful. All right. If it's more serious, here, here. Yeah, girl, this, and that's peeling the eyes and striking the throat in the hyoid. You got my wrist. That's you got it, bro. That's yourself. it. I'm going to go. Yeah. Detroit Urban Survival Training. Today we're going to show you what to do for a mobile countermeasure if someone's following you in a vehicle. If you notice a vehicle behind you, like this black truck, you're going to make three yeah. consecutive right hand turns. Then you're going to make three consecutive left hand turns. car still behind you and you look back there they're still there you're gonna go to the nearest police station and call 911 on the way no. when you I why didn't you it. just do that first I could touch you that real easily if I see somebody huh. so you just say you just gonna make three consecutive left turns they gotta be what if they actually just go in that way too that does happen that does, it does happen 
Especially in neighborhoods. This man gonna have a lot of false calls because you call 911, try to keep your operator in line if you can, get your operator number, and then also make sure you get the address, the right police station. In this case, it's 12th Precinct here in Detroit. And you also make sure when the vehicle comes by, and they drive by you, you try to get their license plate number. Don't move, you move, I should move. No, you <laughs> nah, it's, it's Detroit over. Detroit Survival Training, I wanna share with you right now some options you have that can increase your survivability. Nah, if someone Take placed a gun to your to throat the king. close that's, quarters, and this is what happens when someone that's wants to do some hear, incredible harm to you. If they want to take you Whoa. somewhere, take you hostage, or if they want to torture you. So this is a position you would to find yourself in, and instead of allowing them to do that to you, uh, or just allowing them to kill you, here are some options that may increase your survivability. What you can do, number one, is you have to move your head offline from the uh, line of the trajectory oh, of the bullet at the yeah, same yeah, time yeah, you're, you're done, that you... Bro. Pull the wrist in. <clears throat> so step one, head goes back as hand is pinned in. This does not take strength because you're just pulling your hand in, which causes a lock on the wrist, which also articulates the barrel away from you. My, my Two, your fingers go here, head. thrusting into the yeah. eyes, so. and you're thrusting forward. You're not just touching the eyes, you're actually thrusting in down. And from here, if you don't want to take them to the ground, you would just redirect the barrel here. <laughs> And this would give you control and the ability to use the weapon, or if you don't want to shoot them. That's a lot of shit to remember when you like panic. Detroit Gun Survival Training giving you intelligent options to increase your survivability. I'm trying to run. Detroit Urban Survival Training. We don't encourage anyone to fight or to resist, but if you do decide to resist, what we want to do is make sure you have intelligent options. This is biomechanics, understanding how the body works. So this position is when a minor is pushed, so the minor's not injuring another minor, or in this case, fighting a larger adult. What he's gonna do is a body drop. So he's being pushed back by a much larger person. He drops down by stepping off line underneath. The aggressor goes over the top, he runs away to freedom, and he didn't actually impact the person, he didn't punch them, which means he can't be charged with a crime. So this is a way to defend yourself safely what? and create the most nonviolent outcome but also avoid being sued or having an injury resulting in a prosecution. Put your picture this here. This is the guy. This he is the guy. Put your picture here. Don't move. Don't move. The fingers oh, are now inside the eyes. Now he grabbed it. Yeah. So he's not working. What happened? But what happens if I don't? Like he like know what he's move? doing. But okay, no, he, he, yeah, he looks like he know what he's doing, but. The practicality of it is, is, I, 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 I just can't see it. You just gotta break stuff. Yeah. The person wants to fight you. That's all they want to do. They just want to attack you. They want to fight you. You want to show that you don't want to fight by keeping your hands open. So the witnesses will see that. That'll come out later to be very important legally. The cameras will see that your hands are open. You also need to be backing away from the person at the same time. Your hands are between your mouth and that person at all times, no matter what. As they come forward, instead of you trying to fight them, you're gonna take them to the ability to stand. By stomping through the knee, you take the middle stand up, and you're stomping through the knee, not to the knee. So this is how you're able to take control of your safe. Oh, Detroit Urban Survival Training, we're gonna share with you some of the ways that we have used to break apart violent aggressors who do not want to back away. In this case, neither one of them is a victim. They're both aggressing. We're gonna come in, our hands go here, right to the face, right to the nose, or to the eye, kill down. And this is an intelligent option that will help you create safety for you and your family no matter where you live in the world. No, Detroit Urban Survival Training, we're going to share with you uh, some information related to human reaction time and identification of a weapon. He already so right now, yep. he's going to shoot. He, he sees a weapon. If I bring this weapon out to bear, he is going to shoot. Give you an example of what that sounds like. Fire. Okay, you'll hear that noise. All right. You see me pull the weapon, you're going to fire. Clear. Okay, did you hear this go first? Yes. Yeah. Right again, don't say anything. I, no, it, wait. Like a wait. Yeah. He got shot too. He did, bro. Like it, it don't matter. <laughs> you, <laughs> you still got There's shot. There's a good chance Buddy can still draw his gun. Wait a minute. Oh my God. Wait. You <laughs> still <laughs> get. He, he tried to make that into a point. Because he sat there and was like. <laughs> He, he had to do it again. <laughs> Dub 20 in the pot as well. Pot's Bro, at 60. go back. Watch how he gets uh, shot too and he kind of like. <laughs> what? Did you hear this go first? Yes. It don't yes, matter. No, he don't say anything. That was like a tie. You're still dead. Say don't move. Don't move. 
I was about, about to tie. You're still dead. You don't. Man. Don't move. Still, still dead. You, you still Even taking the shot. Got, exactly. Don't move. Yeah, That's with both you, hands you up, and that's human reaction uh, time. Because by the time his brain saw that he didn't have a weapon, it was too late. I still got shot, and that's a lesson for everyone. But <laughs> I'm somewhat trying to root for this man, but yeah, he like <laughs> he got shot like seven times just now. He did, bro. What was the moral in that story? I. I don't know. He shot first. Congratulations, <laughs> you still got shot. Oh, two hands. I made a city move. Don't let go. Don't shoot me. Oh, hell. I take a plan and I back it back and hit after you take a bat in there. I take a word, flip it acrobatic. I got a little time and a lot of time. Who's going to do that? But why would you be on the side of Oh, you be shot in the front. Hey, still still coming out. Nothing you can do. No. Joy Rivers Rival Training, going to share with you what you can do. If someone puts a gun to the back of your skull and holds you hostage, and they're going to shoot He's if you move. Ready, In this situation, if they're just going to rob you, you should He's always like do what they the say hook. and just give them whatever they want. If you believe they're going to kill you, if you believe Real, they're going to take man. you to a secondary location, a if you person, believe you know? your life's in danger and you can't trust them with the gun bro, to the back he, of your skull, dude, here bro. is an intelligent option that can help you. He is going to shoot if I move. Did you pull the trigger? I did. Yes, All right. Did you feel like the bullet went past? No, go back. So, like the whole trajectory of the gun went another way. Bruh. He got. It, he, it, it definitely sounds like he probably still got shot. There's an option that can help you. Oh my God, bro. He is going to shoot if I move. But it can easily swing back right. and just bam. Did you pull the trigger? I did. All right. Did you feel like the bullet went past? He got shot. So, like the, the whole trajectory of the gun went another way. So, okay. Very good. And so he did not know what was gonna happen. I never showed him that technique before. I just met him here in Detroit and uh, we're doing street demonstrations so we can share with you uh, the reaction that real people have without any training. So he was actually gonna shoot and uh, this individual tried to shoot and it just it was not there biomechanically. The reason why is because when the gun is here, when I move what's in front of the gun, I move out of the way of the blade of the gun. When he sees me move, my head moves and he pulls the trigger. Keep him from backing the gun away and, and realigning the gun with me. I come forward, wrapping the arm. Going into the eyes it's here, still, he's hyper, he's blind, and hyper extended the arm here. Ah! And the weapon is extended and secured. That is how you can defend yourself in this situation. The first thing I do is always move what's in front of the barrel of the gun. And then close the gap and redirect and always attack the eyes of the aggressor under all conditions. So you can deprive them of the ability to stand, breathe, or see if it's very serious. In this case, because of our proximity, I went for the eyes, and that's what you can do to help secure your, sa your safety and to make yourself safe. This is an intelligent option that will increase your survivability. That they grabbed your hand or the wrist while you had a knife in your hand. You can use the bottom of it to go right here to their hand, and all you're going to do is articulate it down, and that causes pain, and you can take control of them, you can move them down, or you can actually hold them against their will. These are your choices. If you want to just get free, all you do is move in a circle, using the bottom of the blade here, bottom of your knife, in a circle, and it'll get free, just like that. And it's also, you felt pain when you were holding? Yes. Okay. So you can also use this. If this person was here, we want to move the guy. We don't want to stab them. We want to make them back away from our family, right? to make them back away from our house. Whatever this is, this aggressor, uh, we want to... Oh, my God. You can also use this. If this person was here, we want... So watch and that causes pain, pain that you can take control of them, you can move them down, or you can actually hold them against their will. These are your choices. If you want to just get free, all you do is move in a circle, using the bottom of the blade here, bottom of your knife, in a circle and it'll get free, just like that. And it's also, you felt pain when you were holding? Yes. Okay. So you can also use this, if this person was here, we want to move the guy, we don't want to stab him. We want to make them back away from our family, Wait, make them back away from our house. Whatever this is, this aggressor, uh, we want to back them away, but we don't want to stab them with this knife because that would not be legal. We wanna make sure that when we are defending ourselves and our families, we're doing it legally. So we can take the blade right here, use the bottom of the knife here, to the, back, to the middle of the skull, and just pull down. Soft spot. It's very painful, it causes a person to buckle and to let go or to back away. Um, yeah, bro, don't. 
Nah, bro. I don't. Oh, my God. He has some useful tips, but. Yeah. Just, uh, he actually had to make videos saying, look, I've been doing this for 26 <clears throat> years, and none of our people that have used the tactic have actually been killed. <clears throat> I mean. <laughs> It's the one when he moved his head around. Exactly. Like, yeah. No, it's the one he pulling, he tagging, like he doing like a damn uh, ring around a rosy like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that one. Bro, that I one. don't. Hey, no, nah, I remember seeing him a long time ago. I don't. I, just he a came clip. out of nowhere. Like, just a clip. A long time ago, I remember seeing it. But, I mean, you know, you always want to be able to take tactical advice. But it's just some stuff you got to practice on. You can't just go out there doing it. You got the little keychains, mm-hmm. too. I was hoping to see it on there. They're like mm-hmm. colorful keychains. They, they look, they look. They look explicit, I ain't gonna lie. Supposedly they're like defense weapons. And I'm like, bro. Yeah, no, nah, they got a lot of stuff like that. Like, yeah. Like, especially for women, they got like a lot of stuff that just look like normal stuff when they get Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, it, like, it looks like it's supposed to like steam the, the, the opponent. Uh, yeah. Like, you know. But I mean, hey, man, teach his own. But just don't fuck with people. How about that? Yeah, Everybody so. just keep their hands to themselves yeah. and don't get involved. Mm-hmm. Stop trying to rob other people and all that because now people have guns at home. Yeah, yep. that's, that's true. A lot of <clears throat> criminals aren't making it out. So that, it's don't be that guy. <laughs> no, nah, it was funny, so, bro. I fell. So that's six We all fell. Did we? Did you left too? Mm-mm. No, you left. Okay. Mm-mm. They got us. That nigga got shot in the head, bro. Yeah, I don't he, know what he, he said. Yeah, bro. He was I'm dead. like, bro, you he got shot. He tried to shot. explain it like, bro, you nah. still. Even the one where he was like, oh, when I draw and you shot him first, it's like, bro, but he still got a bullet off on you. Uh, like, uh, you, you still took a shot, bro, G. It, it, Just because you got, you yeah. shot him first. Oh, my God. True urban survival results may vary. <laughs> <laughs> like, right. But no, I appreciate y'all for joining as usual, man. Yeah, man. If y'all enjoyed that video, man, make sure y'all run up the likes down below. Subscribe to the channel. Let us know any other hilarious videos that we can check out that will absolutely fail. Mm-hmm. Keep on staying safe out there. Spread love and be the same thing. Be that love as well. Give me in the clutch. Already. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.